Hi, I'm Ron Hawkins, art director here at Reaper, and today I'm with Bob Rodolfi, Hall of Fame sculptor Bob Rodolfi, who just happened to have stopped by the Reaper Studios. Thanks for coming by, Bob. You're welcome, Ron. RaperCon was yesterday or two days ago or something like that. So I did this with Bob and Julie, too. Or, yeah. yeah, Bobby and Julie. Bobby and Julie. So we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the things that you've sculpted for Bones 5. Yes. So let's start with, let's start with your skeletal pirates. So without... <laughs> How did you come up with the idea of doing Skeletal Pirates? Well, I know it, what you're going to say. It was an email that I received <laughs> okay, that well. said, Bob, you're doing Skeletal Pirates. And we discussed what did he want, and he sent me lots of pictures of what he wanted, and we kind of went with that. Okay, well, that sort of... Is that going to kill the whole in thing? the butt, I guess. Well, no, I, mean, I, I think, you know. So, but, but then you... But I just said, hey, do a thing and a this, and you're like, I'll do it like this. Yes, really cool. I did. And I so, overrode your you instructions sure did. and did you it said, myself. I don't care what you want. <laughs> We're going to do it like this. <laughs> Tell me about, you did, you did them in various groups. What are, what are the, the, the groups? That you yeah, did the I did a group of uh, three drunken pirates. One Love. sitting on the barrel by himself and two staggering down the hallway. Love the drunken pirates. Thank you. And there are three. Yeah, we only have two. Okay, have two. There, there are three that are a, a treasure crew. The treasure hunting, burying, yeah, whatever Yeah, burying the, the treasure chest. And then there are four that are a boarding party. A boarding party, right. Mm -hmm. So we have a couple of each of those guys. We don't have the full set. Mm -hmm. um, but in the photograph that we're showing here, cue Justin's photograph, it'll, you'll see all the pictures here. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, those are cool. And mm -hmm. these are going to be uh, part of the, one of the expansions. They're not part of the core set. They're not an option, but they are an expansion for Bones 5. Right. Um, don't know exactly where they're going to show up, but you know, you could be looking for that. These are cool. These are like some sort of um, whites or like Draugr or um, Crypt Guardian kind of undead guys. Yes. Zombie undead Crypt Barrel guys. Yes, they're people that were buried in the crypts to guard the treasure the, after the people were buried in the treasure. The treasure or a treasure or even, you know, noblemen or kings. Yeah, they're super cool. Thank you. Um, yeah, I can totally see painting these guy, guys up with some sort of a frost, frosty ground element, tundra, frozen type stuff. Mm -hmm. Those are really cool. And here you've got uh, the witch that you did for the ReaperCon VIP bonus bundle. Yes. This is a resin one that people got at ReaperCon. That's That's such correct. a cool piece. We mm -hmm. thought we'd put it in the, uh, I think, in the core set. That would be good. Yeah, that would be super cool. That would be good. And then, you know, we have the spider encounter, the giant spider encounter. Yes. Tell us your thoughts on when you were working on this. What what were your what what did you want to do? Well, I wanted to make a little diorama piece, and this little guy here is actually a separate piece. One because I don't think it will cast in one piece, but it's also kind of a neat little statue it's by neat. itself. It's really cool. It's flat on the back, so if you're building your own little walls and dungeons, you can use it as an ornamentation pretty much anywhere. Yeah, and you could put two back to back. Yes, you could. Without the little, oh, okay, it's just a little. You just got a little, little tab there. that yeah, fits in the, the hole that you can. In plastic, off. it'll cut right off. That also frees this up if you don't want it to be just a spider encounter. You can put your own statuary or something in there. Cool. And it comes with a big spider that can be attached pretty much anywhere, and a little spider. Again, they're just little bits and pieces. And for the actual level itself, for the um, the giant spider encounter, we'll probably give it, end up giving multiple spiders. As, a, as opposed to just one spider. Yes, I only um, had these finished. I had, don't have the other one. So there's a couple more spiders coming. Yes. Cool. And uh, a character to go with this, too. Yes. Am I at liberty to say what that is? Sure. It is going to be a halfling paladin. Ah, so very cool. That's going to be fun. That would be very cool. All this will look really cool together. Yes. Yeah, that's really neat. What's the halfling paladin doing here? Attacking the spider. Okay, Why? Because I was told to okay. have a halfling. All right. Well, that's okay. Halfling that's fine. His wife. We'll come up with a cool story better than that later, better than I told you so. Oh, yeah. and the, don't not to forget, you've got some victims, yes. some webbed some, victims. Some extra hanging victims, and there'll be some other ones that can also lay down. So, so these can either, like you said, you can either hang these, yes. uh, or you can lay them on the steps. Like you said, they, put, yes. they fit perfectly on the steps, like, they, like they're little sacrifices or something. Yes. And... Uh, uh, and the base is just filled with all sorts of little bones and, well, you can see in the photograph, bones and, and cool stuff like that. Exact spider victims, that kind of stuff. Yeah, super cool stuff. Thank you. So, lots of neat stuff mm -hmm. for Mr. Rodolfi. So, well, thanks for checking in, Bob. Um, thanks for stopping by and showing us all the cool stuff. You always well, do the cool, creepy me. stuff. I really appreciate it. And uh, lots more cool stuff from Bob Rodolfi and Bones 5. So, thanks, Bob. Thank you, Ron. See you guys later.